So, hello you guys. I want to uh, compare the, the level D simulator on my route with uh, uh, with Sibomol. So, the first thing you can see is that top of descent is basically on the opposite of direction. Is it called perpendicular or from this waypoint and then it goes f uh, uh, um, maybe a centimeter or something before it starts to de de decelerate and then it reaches 240 knots exactly 240 knots here so it calculates this part of the route very precise uh, no winds of course you can see glide slope through airspeed and we are 12,000 feet. I have programmed the same in, in Sibmod, and you can see that top of descent is almost on top of the cell point. So I'm expecting top of descent to be somewhere here. In Sibmod, we will have over 250, 255 knots here. So the plane can't decel how it should. This this uh, This part of the the flight, the the, the flight path. Um, so what I will do is I will run. Uh, what you also will see in the level D is how slow it starts descending. So the engines pull down very very slowly. So it takes almost 18 seconds to to full descend rate. So we can look at this. So you can see how slowly it starts to descend, very soft start to descend, and it's a little, I don't know why, why it's, you see how slow it moves backwards, extremely, and you saw, you saw, you saw the trim value also here, that is interesting to see the trim value. So it's about six trim here. So if we play again. So now it's trimming backwards. And that is of course be because, yeah, why it's trimming backwards? Is it because the speed start to decrease? Uh, that is very strange. Yeah, why is it start? And it already have 31 in idle. I don't think Sib has 31 in this. I think it has 40 something or yeah, we will see 31.6 in idle. Yeah. I know why the, why the plane trimmed because it's has, has reached the, the cell point so it's of course trimming the nose up a little because it wants to decelerate so it's decreasing the decreasing the the rate of descent uh, But he is basically wrong because it, it will follow the, the glide path perfectly and it will follow the speed perfectly. So we, we will see here what speed it has at this point. You see now it has reduced to 450 in feet per minute in, in descent rate to the speed.
so that you can hear him say. So let's see if we see the speed, 250 here. Oh, so, 240, and there, 246 knots, 245 knots, and then it started to descend more, if you will. So it dis will descend more with a higher rate, and so the speed will not go down. To 240. I don't think it will. Yeah, you can see very slowly this the speed goes it goes down. Yeah, but, and if I now do the same in SIB mode, but instead of using a VNAV, I will use level change, and uh, I will start the level change here, like level D. So let's unpause and set altitude hold, yeah, and uh, do, do, a f do a few things. So there's something there. And level change is basically what, what VNAV does, but instead of VNAV controlling the speed, I will con control the speed. Now we are exactly perpendicular. And there we start level change. The first thing we will be able to see is that it the descend rate descends very fast. So it, it takes like a couple of seconds to get a 3000. And now we reach the decel point. And now I will reduce to 240 knots. And let's see what speed we have at 240 knots. So you can see that we now are 600 feet under the glide path. And uh, But I'm not worried about this because my thought is that, that VNF is calculating this a little lo wrong, just a little. So we have reduced 750. I hope we will be reduced even more. 500, 550, no, maybe not. Yeah. It's now trimming forward. No, it's trimming. Should start trimming backwards. Because, of course. And uh, here at this point, I asked uh, my pilot friend, my captain, captain friend, if if the plane will have time to reduce speed to this point. This is the cell point. And he said yes. And what did I have here? 245. So let's see if it has 245. This point. Exactly 240. Exactly 240. 45. So if I do like level D with level change, the glide path is better followed. But you can see that uh, that uh, VNAV profile does not really like like this. This I am way under now. So now it's descending with 1800 feet. That's a little much. It should be around 1450. Yeah, 
between 1300 and 1500, let's say. So now it's reducing to 1200 feet. That's also a little strange because in a turn there should be less lift. And that should it should be more close to 1450. So is fluctuating more than I want the descent rate should be more stable but there we have some kind of override of over venav path with level change and do it as level e